there are trigonometric functions other than the sine and the cosine. Of the remaining trig functions, the most important is the tangent. And the tangent and all of the remaining trig functions is not going to be defined using the unit circle, but rather in terms of the sine and the cosine. The tangent of X, abbreviated tan, is the sine of X divided by the cosine of x. So for example, the tangent of pi divided by 6 is the sine over the cosine, which we can then simplify a little. That's one over the square root of three. If we prefer not to have square roots in the denominator, the square root of three divided by three. Let's make a few observations about the tangent. In particular, its domain and range. The tangent has this division. We can't divide by zero. So the domain is all of the numbers where the cosine is not zero. When is the cosine zero? It's equal to zero at pi over two plus or minus k pi, where k is an integer. So this infinite list of numbers these are the numbers not in the domain. And we'll look at this again graphically when we get to graphing the trig functions. The range of the tangent turns out to be all of the real numbers. And that's it for now, I think. As I said, we will look at a graph of this thing later, but that's all the material that's found in this section.